It was evening when the last ship left. I was in the alley behind Ferguson's when it passed over. It made this kind of thrumming bass you feel deep in your chest. And it was spitting out this huge trail of fire. So bright you can't look straight at it. And for just a second, it lit the place up real bright. Brighter than I'd ever seen. Even at 1,200 hours when all the overlights cut out. I could always tell when the grab pulse kicked in. Because it used to shake the whole city. It reminded me of Ned. He loved to watch the ships. Love the boom and the rumble. Whether it was the first time or the 50th, he'd always stop and stare at the sky and just smile and say, It's the sun, Quentin. It's the sun. Yeah, stupid, but lovable, you know. You don't stop loving your kid brother, no matter how dumb they are. Good evening. The current time is 22.44 and 42 seconds. You have reached Paraspera Skyways Limited. All of our public relations managers are currently helping other customers. Please hold, and an operator will be with you shortly to answer your questions about the evacuation. Your call is important to us. Okay. Realistically, I knew we weren't going to make it, Ned and me. The humans made an effort for themselves, of course. Brotherhood of man and all that. And it's funny, actually. When you think you've uh, figured out who's in the club, who's not in the club, suddenly massive leaps and quantum computing come along and pull the rug out from under you. So we knew if they didn't have room that they'd feel bad, but they'd leave us here on this rock just the same. We also knew they barely had room for themselves. But still, when the last ship went over, I felt sick. Like it was finally finished. Then I thought of Ned. How much he loved those damn lights. Even though he knew what they meant. I thought I was over it. But the last one still hurt. Turns out there's a difference between knowing someone will leave you behind. And actually watching their vapor trail. Good evening. The current time is 2348 and 06 seconds. Please continue to hold, and the first available public relations AI will begin your information uplink. Your call is important to us. I first got the cough six months ago. It's scary. Kind of a scraping in your chest like sand in your lungs. Then you get creaky and grindy and you go slower and slower. And then you're standing there in the street like a big, stupid asshole with nothing but your big, stupid asshole brain that just won't stop. Do me a favor, hmm? If anyone tries to give you that infomercial spiel about the wonders of anti-electron quantum computing, sock them in the mush for me. Ned was lucky. He was one of the stupid ones. Now, everybody had a theory about what caused RASP, pollution, allergen sand rust maybe fact is once the last ship left it was like the leftovers just stopped caring the humans knew we were doomed they wouldn't have left us if we weren't good morning the current time is 0122 and 34 seconds please continue to hold your call is important to us now, i was never the romantic one that was Ned's job. See, he's a Model 9, the dreamer of the family. I'm a Model 5, the thinker. But I've read on the links what Earth was like before the rock hit. It sounded lovely. I always wanted to see a tree, you see. Like a real tree, a live one, you know. Not the old man-made O2 converters. Hell, I'd even settle for some real moss. Or algae that's not made of oil. Or the sun. I bet the sun is really cool. Good morning. The current time is 0153 and 41 seconds. Please continue to hold. Your call is important to us. Pretty soon after they detected the meteor, they knew they'd have to leave. You know the drill. First there's a bang. 
and it gets really dusty and the organics get hungry and they get cold. They were lucky the Model 5s figured out grab drives when we did or they could have never accelerated to the necessary speeds for interstellar travel. Now, it's still going to take them a good century before they get someplace they can set up camp. But I think they'll do okay. I wish them well. I really do. I even let Ned handle their PR calls. You see, I'm a team player. Dr. Riley felt so guilty about all of this that she offered to smuggle me on board. But she didn't have room for Ned, so I had to turn her down. It was a long shot anyway, and it's not their fault they had to leave us behind. It's not their fault I'm still alive. Good morning. The current time is 0219 and 11 seconds. Please continue to hold. Your call is important to us. It's the creakiness that got to me. Ferg's is still open, but it's not the same place anymore. You know, time was, you'd go through for a shine and you'd feel like a new man. Nowadays, we harvest river oil for lubricant, and it always has this grit that gets in your joints. Ned stopped getting tune-ups a long time ago. By that time, he was already misplacing things, forgetting things, glitching. Pretty soon, all he could remember was his last directive. You see, I still remember everything. I'd have put a gun in my mouth a long time ago if Ned hadn't needed me. Poor, stupid, sweet, lucky Ned. Good morning. The current time is 0249 and 13 seconds. Please continue to hold. Your call is important to us. The humans used to know how to make everything work right, but now it's like the whole world is winding down because, I mean, what's the point, right? Ned used to say maybe they'd come back for us someday. I'm not holding my breath. My brain whirred and clicked over, anti-electron banks in perfect sync, and I called the old hotline again. Ned's voice boomed in my head, and even though all he could say was the same old, outdated messages, he still sounded like that excitable kid who loved to watch the ships go over. Good morning. The current time is 3.51 and 49 seconds. Please continue to hold. Your call is important to us. Uh, it was evening when the last ship of humans left planet Earth. I, I was frozen behind the, in the alley behind Ferg's, ha half buried in acid snow when it passed over. It made this kind of thrum, 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 thrumming bass you feel deep in your chassis rattling your servos and it was spitting out this huge beautiful trail of fire so bright you can't look straight on at, at it and for just a second it lit the place up really bright brighter than I'd ever seen before even at 1200 hours when all the overlights cut out Ned would have loved it. I bet that's what the sun looks like. Good morning. The current time is 0354 and 30 seconds. Please continue to hold. Your call is important to us.